Chris, stop. You're making me work. Push. Good job. Chuck Dawes on the Move is brought to you by Parkway Baptist Church of Clinton. Experience truth, love, and community at Parkway Baptist. Fowler Buick GMC, located on Highway 80 East in Pearl Branton. The Family Dental Center in Clinton. Style your smile at the Family Dental Center with Dr. Paula Stewart and staff. Clinton Family Care on Morrison Drive in Clinton. Visit Dr. David Wheat at the friendliest clinic in Clinton. Clinton Family Care and the Mississippi Baptist Convention Board, helping to bring Mississippi and the world to Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Choctaws on the Move here on Metro TV. I'm Reed Vance along with Mississippi College football coach Norman Joseph. Choctaws coming off a 34-21 victory over Howard Payne University on homecoming this past Saturday. Coach, thanks for your time and congratulations on the victory. I thought one of the keys to the win for the Choctaws was the fact that every time Howard Payne scored, your team had an answer and had an answer immediately answering uh, every time that Howard Payne got the ball in the end zone. It was, uh, it was really a good ball game. I was uh, proud of our team. Uh, the, um, I thought the real plus, one, one of the big pluses for us was uh, being able to score quickly. And uh, we're taking open and drive and went down and scored in four plays. And then we had, um, we had two more, uh, I'm not going to call them drives, but two more series where we had one play scoring, uh, one play and a score. And then right before half, we had two plays and a score. And, and it was uh, right at that moment that, uh, that I, I, I know exactly what you're talking about as far as setting setting up uh, a score after their score and we were able to answer and, and uh, maybe it uh, deflated their momentum a little bit, but it, I know it definitely gave us a boost. Statistically, the, the teams were pretty much even at the end of the ball game with the exception of one category and that was receiving yards. You're Young receivers got good separation this past Saturday and were able to gain a lot of yards. I, I was real proud uh, to Mary Buford, just um, uh, outstanding hands, tremendous athlete. Uh, some of our older guys came through and made some catches for us as well. Uh, we, we moved Austin Gray from quarterback to receiver. There was a need there because of some injuries that we've that we've had and, and uh, Austin came through and, and played an outstanding ball game for us. And I thought one of the biggest adjustments was by your quarterback, Tommy Rear. He had the interceptions in the first half, but made some very good decisions in the second half. Uh, Tommy has played very well for us. Uh, the, the, the three interceptions, two of them I know led to scores and uh, they, those, those hurt us uh, in the first half. I uh, thought our defense played exceptionally well, and um, and as long as they didn't play on a short end of the field, and uh, and then those are just some things we got to work on. But Tommy played well, uh, four touchdown passes in the ball game, and and really did an outstanding got job for us. You talked about your defense; they made big plays when it kind of they were in the backfield a lot. We've seen a lot of pressure from the Choctaw defense, and it really paid off this past Saturday. And a lot of a uh, lot of negative yardage plays uh, for our defense. Uh, really proud of them. Uh, kept pressure on their running attack as well as their quarterback, and and uh, just an outstanding ball game by our defense. And uh, always good to get a win on homecoming as well. Absolutely, those have been few and far between for us uh, in my tenure there at uh, the tenure at Mississippi College. But but I can assure you, it's, uh, it was a great victory, uh, great crowd, great enthusiasm from our fans, and and it's always good to win at home. And a lot of times, a homecoming victory is. Uh, almost twice as important as some other home games because you get a lot of people back on campus maybe for the only time all season and it leaves them with a very positive impression of the way the program said it. And I told uh, our athletic director, Mike Jones, after the game that um, he came up and congratulated us uh, on, our, on our victory. And, and uh, I told him it was an exclamation mark to a great day. With all the activities and festivities that we had on campus to, to win the game was uh, just added one more little notch to it. And it was a great day for us. So the Choctaws improved to three and four overall on the season, two and three in American Southwest Conference play. We'll have the highlights of the game against Howard Payne coming up next. You're watching Choctaws on the Move here on Metro TV. Choctaws on the Move is brought to you by Parkway Baptist Church of Clinton. Experience truth, love, and community at Parkway Baptist. Fowler Buick GMC, located on Highway 80 East in Pearl Brandon. 
the Family Dental Center in Clinton. Style your smile at the Family Dental Center with Dr. Paula Stewart and staff. Clinton Family Care on Morrison Drive in Clinton. Visit Dr. David Wheat at the friendliest clinic in Clinton. Clinton Family Care. And the Mississippi Baptist Convention Board, helping to bring Mississippi and the world to Jesus. Come on! What's it up? What's it up? You're making me work. Push! Good job. Are you ready for some Choctaw football? I'm J. Hugh Brabham of Parkway Baptist Church here in Clinton, Mississippi. As a former basketball player at Mississippi College, I am proud of our Choctaw athletic tradition, a tradition of playing, acting, and living like a champion. On behalf of Parkway, let me wish Coach Joseph and our Choctaw football team much success throughout the upcoming season as they continue that rich Choctaw tradition. And by the way, I can shoot this ball too. Watch the Fall Parade of Home Show on Metro TV, Comcast Channel 17, to view new construction homes for sale. Tune in every day, 8.30 a.m., 12.30 and 8.30 p.m. on Metro TV, Comcast Channel 17. GMC Truck Month means big savings for you at Fowler Buick GMC. Right now, get 0% for 60 months on 2011 Sears, plus $1,500 cash allowance or a $5,005 rebate. Check out GMC Truck Month at FowlerBPG.com. Fowler Buick GMC is growing to better serve you. We are your source for GMC trucks and SUVs. Come in now for great year-end savings on Sierras and lots more. Service, selection, value. That's what we're all about at Fowler Buick GMC. Check us out at FowlerBPG.com. It's a new day in Jackson Television. We are Metro TV, serving Madison, Rankin, and Hines counties with a local flavor. It's all about local people local places, local events, local business, and local fun. You'll see your friends, your neighbors, and your family on Metro TV. Our goal is to showcase the positive aspects of life in the Jackson Metro area, from Brandon and Pearl to Madison, Ridgeland, Flowood, Clinton, Raymond, and Jackson. We'll provide professional quality, informative, entertaining, and fun programming specifically serving the Tri-County Metro area. So get to know us. We are Metro TV. Jackdaws can put the heat on the Yellow Jackets on this third down attempt. Yellow Jackets over three on third downs in the game. Fake the toss, head to throw, and he's going to be sacked back of the 25 yard line. Ball back to the 32 yard line. Head under pressure, wrapped up, and down he goes as Jaron Bingham gets the sack of the 39. Three receivers wide right, one wide left, the short side of the field, lighter to the running back. Head's going to throw, and Bingham's got him at the 29-yard line. Untouched to the quarterback. And in motion, head to throw, wrapped up, and down he goes at the 30-yard line, and Jaron Bingham has just had a whale of a ball game. Jaron, uh, did you feel like watching uh, Howard Payne that you had a chance to have a big day today? Yeah, uh, the coaches basically told me the whole week that this is my game. Um, it was, truly wasn't time for me to step up, and I'm glad that we came out with the W overall. And then uh, the three-game losing streak, how much pressure was there this week to, to fin finish that? It was a lot of pressure. Um, as seniors, you don't want to lose, especially three games second. It was, um, it was rough for us, so we, we made sure we had to come out here and, and get this W. That's our sports information director, David Nichols, with Choctaw senior linebacker Jaron Bingham. Jaron was uh, defensive player of the week in the American Southwest Conference for his efforts. And, Coach, he had a great ball game. And, 
he started off on the defensive line and you moved him to linebacker and it's really paid off. He has been a very active player for us uh, throughout the season and, and then to uh, have him play the, at the level that he played at Saturday was just outstanding. We were real proud of him. Uh, four sacks, uh, another few, uh, several tackles for losses and, and he just, uh, with his uh, penetration and his help, it allowed our defense to play extremely fast and, and he was a catalyst in that. Jerry, one of the outstanding defensive players this past Saturday in the win over Howard Payne. Let's look at the highlights. The Choctaw strike first, opening drive of the ball game. MC with a third and three at the Howard Payne six. Nice, uh, this is a screen pass we had and uh, Demetrius Randolph scored. Tommy threw a nice pass and gave us a lead of seven to nothing. And then Howard Payne answers back first and goal of the MC 14 yard line. Adrian Leiter with a 14 yard touchdown catch. And the Yellow Jackets tied up at seven, but the Choctaws have an answer on the next drive. Josh Johnson with a good kickoff return. Josh has done a great job for us throughout the season on our returns. And uh, we felt like we could set up a left return here and it got it beyond midfield and um, uh, gave us a great field position. All the way down to the Howard Payne 43 and on the next play, Demarion Buford Hughes goes the other 43 yards for the touchdown. This was a great throw by Tommy Rear and uh, Demarion just uh, got behind the secondary, made a nice catch and ran on the end. It was, uh, uh, gave us a real boost at that moment. 14-7 MC after one. Now late in the second, Thomas Head, the Howard Payne quarterback, is going to scramble for 23 yards and find the end zone. And the Yellow Jackets hanging around, making it a 14-14 ball game. But again, the Choctaws answer the next drive, first and 10 at the Howard Payne 43-yard line. And uh, Demarion Buford Hughes is going to come up with another big catch. This was a, we, we ran four verticals here. Uh, we saw a little uh, glitch in their defense. And this was a two-play drive uh, with uh, 50 seconds to go right before half and got in the end zone and gave us a, a boost uh, going in at halftime. Choctaws lead at 2014 at the break and here's a forced fumble by Jeremy Bertrand and Jaron Bingham with the recovery midway through the third. Just a great job by our defense. Uh, Bertrand has been all over the field all season and of course uh, Jared Bingham uh, having a great game for us Saturday. And on the very next play, Choctaws have it first and 10 at the Howard Payne 44 yard line and Stephen Knight goes 44 yards here for the score. We had this set up to throw deep, but they covered us deep. Tommy throws it out to, to uh, Stephen in the flanks uh, and uh, he cuts across, across the grain. Josh Johnson comes up with a great block right there and uh, knocks his man down and Steve gets in for a touchdown. Choctaws lead it after three, 27 to 14. Now the opening drive of the fourth quarter. Howard Payne looking at a fourth and goal. They're going to go for it at the MC three yard line and Adrian Leiter goes in for his second touchdown run of the ball game and makes it 27-21. Again, the Choctaws will answer on their next drive, second and 15 at the Howard Payne 40. And here's Austin Gray with a catch. Nice job here. We, uh, once again, we're looking deep. They had it covered. Austin gets underneath their linebackers and Tommy sees him, throws it, and uh, it's a nice pitch and catch and gives, uh, gives us uh, a key first down. Former Choctaw backup quarterback getting his first catch of the season. And then two plays later, Stephen Knight goes in from three yards away. Coach uh, Corky Houghton set this play up uh, for us, a goal line run uh, that took advantage of what they were doing defensively and offensive line did a great job. Steve gets in for a score. And the Choctaws lead it 34 to 21. Late in the fourth quarter, Howard Payne with a second and 17 at the MC 29. I don't think the ball ever hit the ground here, but DeCourse Branch comes up with the fumble recovery. Another great play by our defense, and DeCourse Branch is really playing well for us, giving us some great leadership in the defensive line. So the Choctaws get the win of the ball game 34 to 21 over Howard Payne University, moving to three and four on the season. Coach Joseph, even though the Howard Payne Yellow Jackets had the ball over 36 minutes in the ball game, they were only three of 15 on third downs, and that tells me your defense came up with big plays when it counted. And they did, and um, it, they, they were able to drive the ball. Uh, our defense, uh, we felt like going into the game, we, we knew with their uh, option offense that it was going to create some difficulties for us, and, and they would get some first downs along the way. Uh, but when it came to third down, uh, because of some of the penetration our defense did and put them in a put them in a long yardage situation, they had to throw the ball, do some things that maybe uh, didn't exactly want to do against us, and and it gave us an advantage um, to to play good defense. On the other hand. Uh, we, we had such quick scores, so that takes away some, some ball control time that maybe we would like to have, but, 
but I'd much rather have the score than I would the time. And so uh, I was real proud of our, our offense of uh, making some big plays, creating some big plays, and getting the ball in the end zone for us. So homecoming 2011 is in the books. It's a Choctaw victory over Howard Payne. And the Sol Ross State University Lobos are next. We'll preview that football game coming up in just a few moments. Right after this, however, we'll talk with Mississippi College Athletic Director Mike Jones. You're watching Chalk Dolls on the Move here on Metro TV. GMC Truck Month means big savings for you at Fowler Buick GMC. Right now, get 0% for 60 months on 2011 Sears, plus $1,500 cash allowance or a $5,005 rebate. Check out GMC Truck Month at FowlerBPG.com. Fowler Buick GMC is growing to better serve you. We are your source for GMC trucks and SUVs. Come in now for great year-end savings on Sierras and lots more. Service, selection, value. That's what we're all about at Fowler Buick GMC. Check us out at FowlerBPG.com. Chuck Dawes on the Move is brought to you by the Family Dental Center in Clinton. Style your smile at the Family Dental Center with Dr. Paula Stewart and staff. Clinton Family Care on Morrison Drive in Clinton. Visit Dr. David Wheat at the friendliest clinic in Clinton, Clinton Family Care. And the Mississippi Baptist Convention Board, helping to bring Mississippi and the world to Jesus. Mike Jones joins us now. Coach Jones is the athletic director here at Mississippi College. We'll talk about a few things going on here in the athletic department. Coach, thanks so much for your time. Uh, let's talk first of all about the uh, athletic dinner that you've got coming up here pretty soon. Well, we certainly have a, a, a good one coming up. We got Gene Stallings, former uh, national championship at the University of Alabama and also coaching the pros will be our speaker. Uh, this has been a, a, a extremely good thing for athletics. Uh, you know, we've raised a hundred plus thousand each year and I think this year will be no different. And this is an important fundraiser for the for the program because it allows the athletic department to do a lot of things that otherwise they might not get to do. We, we've done, we've been able to do a lot of things with this money, and and it, it has been able to help all programs, not just one. Uh, and everybody benefits from it. Uh, we we bought golf carts. We we've, we've done um, uh, stuff for technical stuff for filming and for for uh, football and basketball. Uh, we bought things for softball and baseball, so all the sports uh, are able to benefit from this fundraiser, and, and it enables us to get them things that uh, may not be in our budgets. You know, at the Division Three level, uh, lots of people are called on to do lots of different things, and you've got a staff who does not only their job, but they all do something else here at the athletic department, and uh, I know that's something that you're you're proud of in the way your staff works. Well, our, we, we're very very fortunate to have the kind of staff that we have. Uh, you know, I, I like to brag on our staff any chance I get. Uh, all of our coaches exemplify what our mission of our institution is. But more importantly than just doing that, they have an impact on kids' lives uh, and they're excellent coaches. So, you know, I think we have the total package at Mississippi College as far as our athletic staff is concerned. Our support staff is wonderful. Uh, it's it's a really a great atmosphere to work in. Uh, you know, I love each one of them. Uh, and, and, you know, I've been fortunate that uh, since I've been athletic director, I've been able to hire all of these guys and ladies, and we're very proud of that. And one of the things that I tell people about our athletic department a lot is that there is very little turnover here. That's, I think, really unusual, not just at the Division three level, but at any level of college athletics. A lot of these coaches have been around for 10, 15, 20 years, and that speaks to the stability and, and the good atmosphere they have to work here. I think that's correct. And, you know, stability in programs, uh, if you look around uh, the country, the, the programs that have stability in their coaching staff are winners, and that's why I think that we've been successful in, in all of our programs, that we've had coaches that come uh, and they have stayed. And, of course, you, know, you, you, you have to understand in, in, on the Division three level, uh, this is a level that is, I guess, the truest form of athletics. Kids come to get an education, and they come to be able to play, play and be involved in athletics. And, and our coaches understand that. And, you know, we talk about our mission and who we are uh, a lot, and, and, uh, and I think that's why we have our coaches here. They stay a long time. And uh, in terms of, of, of the travel in this conference, it's a real balance to try to make sure that the students uh, are staying academically up-to-date in their classes. and. Uh, I know a lot of people do a lot of work to make sure that that's, that's true. Well, we do, and, and, and we're very fortunate to have 
uh, a faculty like we have that work with our student athletes and uh, because of their travel and, and, and our coaches, we try to leave at the latest point in time that we can and uh, we always get back late and we try to get our kids in class. But we've got good student athletes and we've got uh, coaches that are concerned about them, not just on the field, but also in the classroom and, and our faculty, uh, they work very good with us. Now one of the most visible things that people see when they come to campus is the new entrance to Robinson Hill Stadium. Tell us a little bit about how that came about and uh, what people can, can expect if they show up here for the first time, maybe for homecoming. Yeah, our, our Dr. Royce and I have wanted to do something with that uh, back of that stadium and, and try to improve it and, and the looks of it and, and have a wow factor for it. And uh, we've been wanting to do it for years. And uh, Robert Watson, the chairman of our committee, come up with the idea of having a circle of champions. So that's how we financed it. We sold granite uh, circles. Um, for $25,000 a piece, and we have sold 16 of those. And then also we had a lead gift uh, from uh, Mr. Watson and then a couple other large gifts that uh, enabled us to be able to build this. It's an excellent uh, facility for us, and I think that our, our student athletes, both in football and track and field, it helps them, and, and plus we have a lot of other uh, functions that go on on our football field like our, our championship games in high school. And we've got basketball season coming up right around the corner. I know Coach Lofton's excited about the possibilities for his team and Coach Duke as well. Well, I think both of our, our, our basketball programs are, are they're always going to be successful and they always have. And, uh, and they're in good hands. Both of those uh, guys will do a great job. We're proud of them. I think that uh, uh, our men's team uh, will, will be bounced back and, and be a contender again like they always are and have been, and I think our girls program, uh, we lost a lot of girls, but I think they've recruited well and uh, will be awfully good. Well, Coach, we appreciate your help, appreciate the support you give us on our broadcast uh, each and every week, and we look forward to a good rest of the school year here at MC. Thank you, Reed, and we appreciate what y'all do. That's Mike Jones, Athletic Director here at Mississippi College. Are you ready for some Choctaw football? I'm Jay Hugh Brabham of Parkway Baptist Church here in Clinton, Mississippi. As a former basketball player at Mississippi College, I am proud of our Choctaw athletic tradition, a tradition of playing, acting, and living like a champion. On behalf of Parkway, let me wish Coach Joseph and our Choctaw football team much success throughout the upcoming season as they continue that rich Choctaw tradition. And by the way, I can shoot this ball too. on the move here on Metro TV. I'm Reed Vance along with Coach Norman Joseph. We'll turn our attention now to the Sol Ross State University Lobos who are one in six on the season. And Coach, this is a team that always seems to have some players who can make explosive plays and they struggle just to get everything together as a team and, uh, and win a lot of ball games. But you know you got some talent on each side of the ball. And they always play extremely hard and, and, uh, and they play well against us. So we, when we go down there, the, the trip is a great equalizer um, uh, for, um, uh, for us and for them. And uh, just because of the distance and uh, the time that it takes to, uh, to get to Alpine, Texas, but, uh, but they do. They have, um, going back to their talent level, they've got a receiver that's outstanding. He's leading the league in, in receptions and yards. And uh, they have a middle linebacker that um, I told our, our uh, I'm going to tell our team this afternoon that uh, they, he can uh, jump or leap tall buildings with a single bound. He is everywhere. Uh, he is just a tremendous athlete. I've seen him jump over offensive linemen and running backs to make quarterback sacks. And uh, he's just, uh, just an outstanding player. But the, and they have some others that do the same thing. So, so you take a couple or three guys like that, like the receiver and their linebacker, and, and you uh, uh, allow them to make some plays, then that just uh, gives um, 
a lot of enthusiasm to the rest of the team, and, and we know it's going to be a real hard battle and, and uh, quite a game coming up for Saturday. If you were to drive all the way to Alpine, it's about 16 hours nonstop from Clinton, and this is not your typical road trip for the Choctaws. All the road trips we take are a little bit lengthier here at the Division Three level, but this is requires some extra planning on the part of you and your staff. Talk to us a little bit about your plan for this road trip to Alpine, Texas. We uh, will practice at home on Wednesday, uh, and then Wednesday evening we will leave around 11 o'clock, drive through the night, and uh, let our guys uh, sleep. Uh, they sleep. I can't. I cannot sleep on a bus, but they'll sleep. They'll rest well, and and then we'll get to Abilene on Thursday. Uh, eat breakfast. We'll put check into a hotel early and let them sleep the rest of the day, and and then um, try to get their legs back under them a little bit. Then we'll go out on the practice field uh, Thursday afternoon, have a normal practice on Thursday, and and then Friday morning we'll get up and drive the rest of the way to Alpine, which is another five and a half or six hour drive. So it's almost like adding a half a road trip. It's like one and a half road trips for this football. Team. It really is. It's, it's quite a trip. But, you know, the, the trip down there is enjoyable because we break it up. It, it's just uh, the coaches and, and the players, and we get to bond and have a, have a good time together. And uh, unfortunately, the, the hard part is the drive back, and that's 16 straight hours coming back home, and, and uh, that's quite a haul. Well, I think some of the folks that you were able to get into the ball game last week, we mentioned Austin Gray. Lining up at wide receiver, got a couple of catches and some of the young receivers as well. Josh Johnson uh, returning some kicks for you. So you're getting some new faces as the season has gone along. Uh, tell us a bit about how you think they have performed because they may not have been in your plans at the start of the season, but they've become contributors here in the last half. Well, you, t you take a guy like Austin Gray that uh, came in. He had a great spring for us. We were looking at him to... Uh, as uh, to compete and battle for the quarterback spot and uh, with Tommy and, and felt like we had two quality players there and then Tommy comes in and, and really has played well for us. You take away maybe five or six plays that and uh, away from Tommy he's really had an outstanding senior year and um, uh, and then so now here's Austin riding the pines and and uh, and uh, it's not like any other position where you can rotate freely the quarterback position you go with the guy you stay with him and and he leads the team and and Tommy's done a great job leading our team so here's a, an outstanding athlete and and Austin Gray that's, that's not getting any playing time but you know he can contribute if he's given the opportunity well we had some injuries at wide receiver we put Austin we moved Austin to wide receiver back last week and he had a great week of practice learning the his role and understanding his role and and he came in and had a great game for us. So I'm real proud of, of guys like Austin Gray who have uh, changed positions, and, and we've done that with some other guys too. Hunter Ferrier, he's played two or three spots for us and still playing three or four spots for us, and moving him around from uh, offense to defense and, and getting him in some playing time. And there's been others that have done the same thing. Uh, you mentioned Jared uh, Bingham earlier, uh, going from defensive line to linebacker. I mean, here's guys that, that contri can contribute, have contributed, will contribute, and uh, it's just a matter of giving them an opportunity, getting them on the field, and letting them show their skill. Well, hopefully we get a chance to see their skills this Saturday at Saul Ross. Coach, thanks for your time, and good luck this Saturday. Thank you so much. Coach Norman Joseph, as the Choctaws get ready to go to Alpine, Texas to take on the Sol Ross State University Lobos. Kickoff is scheduled for 1 p.m. in Alpine, and our live audio broadcast will begin at 12.30 p.m. at GoChoctaws.com. For Coach Norman Joseph, I'm Reed Vance. Thanks for watching another edition of Choctaws on the Move here on Metro TV. Chuck Dawes on the Move is brought to you by Parkway Baptist Church of Clinton. Experience truth, love, and community at Parkway Baptist. Fowler Buick GMC, located on Highway 80 East in Pearl Brandon. The Family Dental Center in Clinton. Style your smile at the Family Dental Center with Dr. Paula Stewart and staff. Clinton Family Care on Morrison Drive in Clinton. Visit Dr. David Wheat at the friendliest clinic in Clinton. Clinton Family Care. And the Mississippi Baptist Convention Board, helping to bring Mississippi and the world to Jesus. <laughs>